I just wanted to put you on panic, darling. <laughs> so have a seat. Hi. Are we already there? So this is my friend, Kai. Oh my God, I don't have a microphone. So I promise you to have the funniest funky designer from London, okay? So his name is Funky Tiger, and he's going to be with us for the next 30 minutes. We're going to have also, I have so many letters for the, um, for the self-healing. Remember my friend with the self-healing? So he's going to be with us today. We're going to have a few surprises today, but before nothing, Hi, Tiger. Hi, Dean Martino. I've been talking about you a few shows, quite a few shows, so we've been so excited waiting for you. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, did you work crazy waiting for me? Yes, yeah, same crazy. I was not going to show up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tell me, I want them to see your clothes, but I want them to know who you are before. I told them too much. I told them too much about you. So tell me. Tell me everything. Where do you come from? I want you to tell them about the boutiques in London, okay? That you wanted to open it now in New York, yeah. but you go back to London. You tell them whatever you want. Well, my name is Tiger Defunct. I was born and raised in London. I've been mean, fashion, modeling, dancing, acting. acting. I've run show business, I've run the full line all the way. And opened up in a boutique in London, and eventually opened one back up in New York. Really dealing with eccentric clothing and high fashion evening wear. Oh my God! So tell me, Tiger. The, I I met with Tiger a few a few times, so I know I want to know everything about Tiger. So I told him, how did you see the? Remember the the thing that you were telling me about the fashion and oh. and New York. That you know that that, that uh, he was telling me a good point in New York. That he, every time he dressed up like this, they believe well, he's gay. You know, <laughs> most people you he's know married. when you see. <laughs> You know, young blacks dress differently apart from sneakers, blue jeans, and a cap. You know, they don't understand it at all. And really, only place you can really see fashion being expressed on an individual level is if you go into the village. But when you step out of the village, it's like, you know, you step into another world. People do not understand at all what they're seeing and cannot accept it at most times. And how is the, uh, how is the fashion this day in London? Because, you know, I was a punk when I was very, very young. <laughs> and now I see that people are still going punk. So I don't know how is London now. I do well, do punk, head skins and uh, back Punk is still so there, much. but it's uh, more like what we call conservative punks now. Yeah. I mean, the cuts are uh, like evening gown cuts, but the accessories are attached to it, like the studs and the yeah. chains and, you know, the short jackets. A lot of metal? A lot of metal still. A though. lot of black? A lot of black. Even for summer, right? Even for the summer, all year round. We wear blacks and boots. You dress how you feel to dress. Yeah, but you dress. You dress right? at all times. It's you dress. one thing that I that I wanted to make a point that I like that I love about Europe. That it's uh, we're supposed to be more freaks in New York, you know. But I think about Europe as uh, like in, in in New York, you get one fashion, and everybody has the same fashion. Mm. Everybody has the same haircut. Everybody has the same shoes, you know. And Europe is like uh, everybody has their own oh, creation. Fashion. You know, you have to be creative to, to, to be a punk and to be in your own fashion. Yeah. So I think that, uh, don't you think that that will be very nice if they push more young designers in New York? Yes. So they can do more more fashion, you know, like... Because a lot of, uh, they have a lot of good young designers out here in New York. Yeah. And the thing is, but the people on the whole don't really wear their century clothing. That's what's holding them back. They will accept it if it came over from Europe. Yeah. But if it's homegrown itself, that they won't accept it. Yeah. You know, let me tell you, yes, fast, because we, don't, we have a lot of things to do. But every time I go to Mexico, you know, I get very surprised, you know, because in Mexico, I mean, the fashion is very fashion. Mm. I mean, everybody takes care to have a very special haircut. A very special hair, uh, uh, you know, nobody wants to wear the same thing. The look. They all, you know, that especially look, you know. So, uh, we on time. You want me to start the weekend? We have music, so we can start. You mm. want to show the, uh, the first two pieces? Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Let's hear the music. We can. Oh, we're going to have calls today for Tiger. So, Tiger, explain him what is in camera now. Okay, oh, now. Andrea, she's wearing white and gold, white denim, Ooh. gold star down the front, body stress, mid thighs, fringes in the front, and real flared out. Oh, wow. See, I love the way that model. 
Tosha, black and white, head to toe, black strap down the mini skirt, split in the back, military braiding on the left sleeves, striped in the front. So I want you to know that uh, are we finished with this one? I want you to know that this one is also tiger. I can move because I had my, my microphone. And I want them to see your jacket also. Show them you. And the very quantity designs, because yeah. this one you have on is not a very expensive one. No. Right, but like um, the black and white is an expensive outfit. Yeah. yeah. This is an expensive one due to the safety pin. Yeah, because especially heavy, you, so. you spend a lot of time yes. doing all these things, right? Yeah, so tell me, three tell hours me about, your, about your little daughter. Yeah. Tell me about your little daughter that she just came in yesterday. My little daughter? Yeah. Ah, oh, she's um, <laughs> fine. That's my... um. Up and coming superstar there. Yeah? You know, How old is she now? Eight years old. Eight years old. I think we have to go to China because we don't we're not gonna take time to change, eh? Right? Just keep telling me about about um about London. Telling me about the boutiques and about everything. Well um most of the boutiques then. How do you start, Tiger? How do you start? You started, started when you were very young? Or how do, started, how do you start? I started as a dancer. As a dancer? Yes. Um, about on, on London? So, yes, about 13, 14. With, um, in the London dance education. And from then I found out dancing was like the spiritual high for me. Yeah. And I took classes at Pineapple Studios and London Contemporary also. Yeah. And you and were then, an actor also. Yeah, eventually got in from going to the acting as well. Mm -hmm. This called Jockey Rock Time Review. Went wrong in um, England with that. And it's National Youth Fair. 